Let's do this question. Shown below is the score of a student in 7 subjects in 5 unit tests. Study the data and answer the following questions. All marks here are out of 100. So this is the data of a student in 7 subjects from Mathematics till Hindi. And we have marks here for 7 subjects in 5 unit tests. We have to answer these questions. First part is, a subject is chosen at random. What is the probability of student getting 70% or more marks in that subject in the next unit test? Let's do this question part by part. Let's first solve the first part. Here there are 7 subjects and for each subject there are 5 tests. So the total number of tests written by the student is 35. From the marks of 35 tests given here, if we find out those scores which are less than 70, those will be 11 and those scores which are greater than or equal to 70, those will be 24. Probability that student gets 70% or more marks in any subject chosen randomly in the next unit test will be So here we have number of papers in which the student gets greater than or equal to 70 marks is 24 Divided by total number of tests written by the student is 35 This will approximately come as 0.69 Let's do the second part. In second part, we have what is the probability that student's score is 70% or more in biology. We have separated the data for the score of the student in biology. In all the five tests, we can see that student has scored 70% or above marks. So here we have 76, 77, 70, 78 and 80 all 70% or above. Therefore, empirical probability here will be number of tests in which score is greater than or equal to 70 divided by total number of tests. So this will be equal to here 5 because in all the 5 tests we have a score of 70 or more divided by total number of tests is also 5 so this is equal to 1. Getting a probability of 1 means here that getting 70% or more marks in biology is a sure event. Here we are talking about empirical probability and not theoretical probability which is based on possibilities. For example, the student is not able to write the next test or any other unfortunate incident due to which the student is not able to get 70% or more marks in the test. This probability which we have calculated here is empirical probability and is purely based on available data. Third part of the question is what is the possibility that student's score is 70% or more in the next unit test? And here we are talking about the aggregate score of all the seven subjects. So here in this table we have calculated the aggregate for all the seven subjects in the five unit tests. And we can see that in four out of five aggregates, scores are greater than 70%. And only in one case, we have a score which is less than 70%. Therefore, empirical probability of aggregate score being 70% or more in the next unit test is 4 by 5 or equal to 0.8. In this video, we learned how to calculate probability for an event based on the data given. 
Also, empirical probability does not takes into account all the situations. It is only based on the data given. Values of empirical probability may come out different from different sets of data.